Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next installment for Throwing Shade, which is a eyeshadow exploration series created by Jessica. Jessica is Beauty and Baseball here on YouTube and I'll link her channel down in the description box below, along with everyone else who's doing this with us. So as I said, this is an eyeshadow exploration series and we do have a bunch of categories. I think there's over 200 categories, um, which Jessica and Amanda and a bunch of other ladies came up with. I haven't put any ideas into there yet because there are so many brilliant ideas in there that I just feel that I can't really come up with anything new because I, I'm not a creative brain, I'm more of a logical brain, so um, that's why I've not put any ideas into the hat as of yet. But I'm more than happy to go with their categories, I think there are some great categories in there um, and I've been picking five at a time. So what I'll do is I'll go through last week's category, uh, last month's categories um, and tell you which eyeshadows I picked and then show you the looks that I made with them. This time round, I didn't do so many looks just because the eyeshadows that I picked were complementary to each other so I felt it was better to wear them together and use the looks that way than to use them independently with other sh and bring other shadows in. Um, that's just the way I chose to do it this time. It's complete contrast to the way I've been doing it in the other videos. I do have a playlist of this series and I'll link that in the description box down below so you can see what I'm talking about. But I have my list here and on here I can go through the categories that I picked out. So um, I picked a music themed shadow, a blue shadow um, because the category was Superman, um, a silver shadow because the category was Cyborg, uh, a winter themed eyeshadow and an indie brand eyeshadow. So I'll go through the eyeshadows that I picked and then we'll pick five more from the list. So for the music themed eyeshadow I picked um, this eyeshadow here and this is the W7 Up in Smoke palette and the shadow is called X Factor um, and that's why I picked it. It is just a kind of shimmery grey colour um, it's really really chalk crumbly, crumbly as you can see. Not chalky but like it's not powdery either, it's just super soft, so it just crumbles under your finger. You'll have to um, ignore my swatches. I tried to clean my hand, but I couldn't get them off. Um, so that's what that one looks like. Um, I do have it on my Outer V today, um, just mixed with a darker blue shade to give it a more cool tone colour. A cool tone shade to it. Why can't I... Oh my god, I've broken the thing. Oh, okay, I fixed it. Okay, so that's that one. That was the first one I drew. And um, the next one was a blue shadow. And for that one, I picked this MUA eyeshadow palette in Glitter Ball. And I picked this shade here. And it's what I have on the lid today. And it just looks like that. Um, it is a shimmery turquoise blue. Like an aqua kind of colour. It's really, really nice. Um, it is hard to work with and it is very patchy. Um, but if you build up the colour, then you can... Um, I'm used to the formula of these now. They're all the same. They're great, 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 great for finger swatches. But then you put them on the eyes and they are so patchy. Like, that one is amazing. That's beautiful. Um, but you get them on the eyes and they just turn so patchy. They don't blend out very easily either. But because I'm used to the formula because I have basically all of these palettes. The ones with the circle pans, I have basically all of them. Um, so I'm used to working with them and it's less hard work for me because I know how they perform and I know how to work with them. So um, The next one was Cyborg and Cyborg was a silver and I again, same palette um, and I picked this shade here. Um, and again, it's really, 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 really soft and just crumbles under your finger um, and to be honest it's more of a white than a silver I really enjoyed the look that I got out of this I put it on Instagram because I loved it so much it was just amazing it's like a white silver um, it was really really nice to use that I used that mostly all over my lid with a teeny tiny bit of um, grey blue in the outer V like teeny tiny bit like mo it was mostly the silver all over and then I topped it with this one, which is the next thing. Um, this is the winter themed eyeshadow. This is in the shade um, Snowflake and it's by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And it is a loose pigment. 
so I won't tip it too far. But I, what I did was I took um, my Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue because I would not tried that yet and I wanted to try it. Um, and I put this over the top of that silver shadow because it's not... It's not so much of a pigment eyeshadow, more as a glitter with some white in it. Um, as you can see, like it's basically just all glitter. Um, so uh, that's why I used it as a topper, and that's why I said to you that I used them complementary with each other rather than separately. And the last one then was an indie brand eyeshadow, and I picked this Mellow Baked Eyeshadow in Cream. I really enjoyed this. I used this on my inner corner because it's too light to use it for anything else. And it's beautiful. I would even wear this on the cheeks as a highlight. It's beautiful. I, I'm so glad I got sent this in a beauty box. It is stunning. Um, it's kind of... It's not matte. It's definitely satin. Um, but it's not... It's shimmery enough to be a highlight. But it's not got any shimmer in it. It's just beautiful. It's stunning. Um, so those are the eyeshadows this time round. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the spreadsheet and uh, go go through the shadows. Okay, so I have random.org on my phone, which you can't see because of glare. Do that side. There we go. And I'm just going to generate the numbers. And then if I generate numbers I've had before, I'll just redraw them. So I'm just going to call them out and write them down, and then we'll go through the categories and what they are. So one, two, two. 205 204 Not had any of these so far 182 And 137 No duplicates from previous episodes, so that's good um, And I'm going to look at the spreadsheet now, which is why I'm not looking at you, I'm looking away Um one two two is a space themed shadow oh i know exactly what i'm going to do for that um 205 uh, your oldest eyeshadow hmm. uh, 204 <laughs> I tell you what, these roulettes, they do not like me at all. So 204 is a blue themed, blue or water themed. Um, and it'll be, I've done one, two, three so far. This is the fourth one and it'll be the fourth time I've had a blue. You can't make this up. You just can't. This is my life. 182 is a gold shadow. It's a good job I got a lot of gold shadows too, because they keep coming up as well. One, three, seven. Uh, any uh, the title the title of one three seven is X Files, and it's any shadow with the letter X in it. Do you know what that X Factor one would have done really well for that? Okay, so I've written all those down. Let's get rid of that. Um, I've written all those down, I'm going to go pick my eyeshadows and then I'll come back, do some swatches, talk you through them, how I'm feeling, that kind of a thing. Okay, so I've got my eyeshadows um, and I'm quite excited actually to be honest for this time round. There are some things here that are not necessarily stuff that I'd pull out um, and I've done it on purpose, stuff that I wouldn't pull out normally um, because I'm project panning or because it's not everyday wear or whatever. Um, so the first one I picked was 122, which is a space-themed eyeshadow, and for that I definitely had to go with this. Like, it's so... As soon as it came up, I was like, I know exactly what I'm doing for that. Um, it's the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette, and I think I want to go with... What colour do I want to go with? I really, because of space-themed or um, uh, coloured, I should probably go with one of these two, um, Galaxy or Lightyear, let's swatch them. Oh. Oh. This palette is giving me feels. Um. 
I think I'm going to go with the top one, the Galaxy. Um, it's that one there. And my very poorly swatched arm, it is the top one here. So it's kind of um, very similar to Lounge from Urban Decay. So it's brown underneath with blue glitter on the top. Um, so I think that'll go really, really nice with the other shadows that I picked this time around. So that's the one I'm going to go with. Um, my oldest eyeshadow, um, I was like, what am I going to do? I don't have any old eyeshadows. Like, I got rid of all of my singles because I wasn't using them. And then since then, I don't really buy singles. And then I realised that I had a palette that I depotted um, in my makeshift Z palettes. And it is the Collection 2000. Um, it was the... Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like, it was the smoky one, so it was all greys and whites and blacks, and that was all was, that was in it. Um, and in that was this white, as you can see I've hit pan on this, this is an ancient eyeshadow. Um, and I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight because it's not good for much else, to be honest. Um, but it is, it's just a nice shimmery white. Um, maybe I'll get some use out of it putting it all over the lid, but I don't generally go for that kind of a smoky look on a day to day. So, uh, the next one was blue or water, and I keep picking bright blues. And I figured, seeing as we're going into the autumn and winter, I should pick a dark blue. So, I'm picking this one. This one is called London Rain, and it is from the Sleek uh, Original palette. Um, and it's just a really, it's a stunning navy blue. It's really, really pretty, like a grey navy. Um, I think that'll go really, really well with the Galaxy, I think. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Um, I'm becoming more and more brave with my eye looks recently. Um, and I don't really know why. Um, actually, I kind of do know why. It's, some, it, it's half to do with looking at YouTubers again and seeing, actually, I could pull that off. And it's half to do with... Um, the fact that I've seen pictures of me with colour on my eyelids and through this project and I've gone actually I quite like having coloured on my eyelid rather than a neutral look on my eyes and then a bright lipstick Um, I quite like having bright eyeshadow and a new and yes bright eyeshadow and a neutral lip as well as having a neutral eye and a bright lip so I'm becoming more and more brave with the eyeshadow looks that I'm trying out because I know now that I can actually pull them off without looking like a crazy person. Um, the next one was a gold shadow and this is the peanut butter and jelly palettes and I'm going to choose this shade here in bananas. Um, it is a gold colour as you can see. How do I switch this? Um, there's not much else I can say about that. It's gold. We'll give it a go, see what happens. I really like the Too Faced formula for eyeshadows. It is my favourite, so I'm going to enjoy that. And the last one is any shadow with an X in it. And for that, I picked this NYX Hot Single. Um, and I didn't pick it because it was from NYX. I've only just realised that. I picked it because it's in the name Pixie Fee. Um, and Pixie is spelled P-I-X-I-E. And it is a nice, neutral champagne pinky colour. which isn't very pigmented by the looks of things. I don't know if you can see that. Just under the gold there, that's the gold, and that's the NYX one just by there. Um, it is similar to my skin tone. That's probably why you can't see it. It is a very, very, very flesh-toned. Very flesh-toned. But it does have shimmer in it, so it is meant to be on the lid. I might just have to pair it with something else from this set-up. Um, I could top it with... What could I top it with? What have we got? I compare it with the, it looks nice with the gold on my arm, but I wouldn't be able to wear it on the lid on its own. Hmm, we shall see. You'll see next time round in the um, pictures, I'll tell you what I did with it. And then we can figure out whether or not that's going to work out for me. Anyway, that's everything for this episode. I've got my eyeshadows ready to go. Um, and as before, I will insert images of the looks that I did before, and I will take new images for this time round. Sometimes I put them up on Instagram, like before the video. So if you want to see what I'm doing, how I'm playing with my makeup, 
you should definitely be following me on Instagram. I'll link my Instagram in the description box down below so you guys know where to follow me. Um, my Twitter will be down there as well, but I don't use Twitter as much as I do Instagram. Mostly my Twitter is there so that I can complain to companies as to why they haven't done the thing that they should have done. Um, I know that's not really what you're supposed to use social media for, um, but I, I've never been a big fan of Twitter, but other people are. So like the best way, companies will be like the best way to get in touch with us is through Twitter. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to get a Twitter then. Um, that's just, that's why. If, if that didn't happen or something like that, if you know, if it wasn't so heavily used within the industry that I work in, then I probably wouldn't even have one. So in case you're wondering why I only use it for complaining about things, that's why. Um, I really do enjoy Instagram though, really, really enjoy Instagram. Mostly I'm on Facebook. Um, I know a couple of people um, are uh, following friends with me on Facebook um, and following me on Facebook as well. Um, so yeah, I won't link my Facebook down below just because I like to get to know somebody before I add them to my Facebook. I have a lot of private stuff on there. Um, and I do do, I do put up photos of my, um, my best friend's son. So it's just a case of getting to know the person before I add them on my Facebook. So if you're watching and I have added you on my Facebook, feel privileged because it is a big deal to me. It might not seem like a big deal to most people, but it is to me. So anyway. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Throwing Shade. I hope you're following along with the other ladies as well. Um, you should definitely go and check out their channels if you're not already. And if you've come from one of their channels, hi, it's nice to meet you. My name's Claire. I hope you stick around and press that subscribe button. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. I will see you soon. Bye.